All right, let me set aside the magic for just a second and show you this. It's from the 1940s. For just one penny, you can electrocute your friends. I guess in the 1940s, they didn't have lawsuits. You put the penny in, turn the knobs, and see how much electricity you can handle. That's the battery it takes. I'm sure it's not shocking to learn that it's a hit at parties. My toy collection is nothing compared to my dad's. My childhood basement is filled with antique toys. I love all of it. The typesetting, the lighting. That's creepy. I love the sound. With all of my dad's collection, there's one rule. It's the opposite of what you may think. The rule is everything has to be able to be played with. It has to work. Yes. One of my favorites is an old jukebox and while filming this video, I broke it, uh, for real. But my dad was able to come down and fix it. I know it's strange, but to me, that's pretty badass. Where'd you get it? You should see where we get all this stuff. A place in downtown Minneapolis you called Kilroy. That's Kevin. He owns the place and has the coolest collection of toys. There's this thing, which is a replica from the movie Big, My Wish Was Granted. Now I love this story, can we tell this story? And a lot of these toys actually use concepts of magic. Like this little guy. He gives the illusion that he's taking a nail out of his mouth and hammering it into the shoe. When in fact the nail is just coming out of the shoe. Or there's stereo pictures where the lenses would cross your eyes and make it look like the pictures of these scantily clad women were in 3D. But my favorite is an old slot machine that plays craps. How does a machine that's almost 100 years old know what numbers it rolls on a dice? So let me guess. So every combination has its own pocket and they're all different. I can't fool magicians. <laughs> it's like a magic trick. The dice aren't actually rolling. Instead, the machine is spitting out a pair of dice from a series of pockets. And none of those are actually going to roll. Those are all just gonna spit them out. Creating the illusion of a dice roll. It would be easy to cheat because you could just remove the winning combinations of the dice. It really is like a magic trick. Some people do crossword puzzles for fun and I like working on different things. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This was a different video for me because uh, there was no magic in it. If you need your magic fix, check out over there one of my favorite compilations of tons of magic I've done. Otherwise, if you want information on Kilroy's, the antique shop where we get all this cool stuff, that will be listed below. But definitely subscribe because uh, my self-worth depends on it.